You see, here is a man with tremendous integrity of his rational faculty, and he is correct, he should do that. He is very devout, he is very rational, very sensible person. But a lot of things that he is kind of talking about as, you, as a humanist can only be explained not in terms of material world that we kind of en, you know, encounter, but a deeper idea regarding what is the nature of reality. For example, you say you must be compassionate in the human kingdom, is um, not the survival of the fittest, but helping the weakest. This kind of stuff he will use. Fair enough. But you say, why? He's only to genetic pool. You see, again, he's fixed, fixed on matter and DNA and so on. I'm saying, no, no, no. All these things are reflected. The reason why we love human beings, so why we are as we are, is because there's something deeper than a material frame that is expressing. Something else is expressing itself through the material frame and becomes visible, as if like through the eyes as consciousness. And this is coming out now very strongly in the science lobby, in neuroscience as consciousness, in modern physical science, physics, it comes out as quantum phenomena. And this has not been answered by Richard Dawkins. So I'm only hoping that he will, in a way, at some stage, kind of feel that the real is missing some important aspect to the way he's understanding reality. And this kind of fixated on the DNA. But the DNA is fixated on the quantum. And quantum says, underpinning its reality is not matter, Mr. Dawkins. I keep telling him that. So be it. <laughs>